My father and me. A man called today and said he was my father. I said, that's nice, but my father's dead. He said, well, I'm back, and I just wanted you to know if you need anything, I'll be there for you. He gave me his number and said goodbye. I hated that phone call because it upset me a great deal. My father had died when I was a small child. I didn't even remember him. But my mother had told me how brave he was, how kind and good. Now this imposter was causing me to acknowledge how little I really knew. But I couldn't get him out of my mind. He didn't deny he had been dead. He just said he was back. I went to work as usual. I met with friends. I didn't say anything to any of them. I let two weeks pass before I couldn't stand it any longer. Then I finally called the number he had given me. He answered and we set a date for the next night. We met in a bar near where I lived. He asked me what I did for a living. I told him I was an accountant. Then he asked me if I had any girlfriends. I said a few. We sat there in silence for a while. I asked if he had lived around here for long. He said, not long. I asked where he had lived. He said, oh, here and there. He asked me how my mother was. I said, she's fine. She doesn't get around much anymore, you know. At some point in the conversation, I reached over and touched his sleeve. His left arm began to crumble slowly before my eyes. It was like some magic trick, but it wasn't a trick. I could see that. His arm was completely gone now. Then I touched his other arm. The same thing happened. The slow crumble, the disappearance. He kept on talking, mostly about me. Then I touched his leg, first one, then the other, and his chest until he was only a head talking. That's when he said, you're my only son after all, and I wouldn't want anything to happen to you.